What is up, my brethren? Welcome to another episode of Echo TV. I am Jarvis Black, and it is cold, and it is dark. Oh, we got horrible, horrible lighting. I'm out for a walk. I was just thinking about the Joe Rogan podcast today with Tim Dillon, which was hilarious. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. There was a couple yeah. that uh, adopted a child from Russia, and they thought yes, that the yes. child was uh, a little kid. And it turned out she might have been 30. They yes. don't know how old she was. She yes. tried to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> she scared them. It was a fucking horror movie. They talked uh, quite a bit about the Natalia Barnett story, something I've been covering over the past couple of months. And it's really interesting, because I love Joe Rogan. I don't know, so good. Let me set that straight uh, <laughs> up front. Oh, you can't even see my face at all. I thought it was really interesting to hear him talk about the Natalia Barnett story because it's one of those things that not everybody has heard the whole story. Not everybody has gone through all of the information. Uh, like, I don't think they mentioned at all that Natalia was on Dr. Phil and shared her side of the story. In the idea that there are midgets dressing up as children and trying to burrow into families so that they can wake up in the middle of the night and kill them yeah. is truly the funniest thing that has happened in, in I don't recent think memory. I think we've got a little bit better light on this side of the street. I think it's really interesting to see people talk about the story, something I've been following like really closely. And for it to be, I guess, here what an outside perspective somebody who hasn't follow, been following it closely and the immediate sort of uh, sort of guttural reaction to Christine Barnett's story because Christine and Michael's story is what has really made the rounds as opposed to any other version of the story. The interesting thing is, you know, maybe they're right. Um, so legally, she is an adult <laughs> pretending to be a kid, I guess. Um, but... I think that's what the whole, that's what the prosecution is trying to prove is that the, the opposite is actually true. And the reality is, is we don't know. We have no idea what, what the real story is. And, but somebody who hasn't been exposed to the story or has just heard about it piecemeal from different places is automatically going to think, you know, that, that, that Christina Michaels version is the absolute truth. And, the reality is, is we don't know. And I'll be excited to hear more information as it comes out about the story. Make sure you uh, smash that like button, baby. It's cold out. The likes make me warm. <laughs> they make me all warm and fuzzy inside. So smash that like button. Subscribe if you like these cold diatribes. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me.